Good morning, this is Megan, I'm doing a voiceover. Um, This is a morning routine. It might turn into a full day actually, of just what I do day in the life. When I'm currently 20 weeks pregnant, I've got the day off today, but Lewis hadn't. So the first thing that I did when I got up was I put the coffee on because he's not getting out of bed without his coffee. And I will go fill up my water bottle. Um, Great start to the day is just to drink some cold water. So I try and do that, get everything flowing, tell my body I'm awake and there's just me drinking my water. And then I will go into the living room normally and this is a sped up clip of me just doing a quick meditation. It wasn't very long at all. It's just so I can drop into my day and just realize that I'm functioning and I'm awake because I've just had a good sleep. And I'll do some stretches like this because my body will feel really stiff after being asleep for so long. So I do that and then I meditate for a bit, drop in, especially because I was recording this, like your mind just thinks about the fact that you're being recorded. And then once I was happy with where I was, I just tidied up the sofa because we were too tired to do it last night before we went to bed. Then I go back into the kitchen and I'll get Lewis's L mug and just pour him some coffee. Yeah, so that is what I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of a ASMR of me pouring his coffee now. Here I am taking his coffee into the bedroom where he can wake up and just have that next to him because I'm such a good girlfriend. There he is on my side of the bed. Very nice of him. Cheers, Lou. I went back downstairs again um, just to fold some clothes away. Something that I really struggled with in my first trimester was having any energy at all. And so now that I'm in my second trimester, I'm halfway through my pregnancy, I've got a bit more energy back and I'm just trying to maintain the house just by doing little things as I go. And it's been working, just not upstairs because I haven't deep cleaned upstairs and there is clothes everywhere. I went on to do Lose's breakfast after this because we ended up, going and just chilling in bed for a bit and just having a laugh um which meant that Lewis didn't have a lot of time to get ready in the morning so I offered while he was in the shower I would start getting his eggs ready and toast and he does come down and help me awkward. Look at the way I'm even just holding the spoon. <laughs> Ew, that looks so gross. That looks so unkept. Is it just pat the eggs? <laughs> yeah. That's what you gotta do sometimes. I've decided to do a voiceover 
this bit because I was explaining everything that I was putting into this smoothie bowl that I was going to have for my breakfast. But as I was pouring things in, all you could hear was the ingredients just going into the blender. And then I turn on the blender and you literally just can't hear anything that I'm saying. So I'm making a purple smoothie bowl by putting in some frozen blueberries and some frozen raspberries. There's me thinking, oh, shall I put some more in? Yes, of course, always put it in. What else am I going to put in here? And then I do edit it and turn up the seed. The seed? The speed. Um, there you go. There's me putting in some flax seeds and some porridge oats. Um, what else am I going to put in? I think I put in, yep, soy milk. Prefer soy milk. Uh, dairy just does not agree with my stomach. I still eat it, but yeah, we're going to use soy milk as we normally do. And this body bloom powder, which I have, it's like, um, it's good for your digestion. It's got loads of things in it. Couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but it's also purple colored. So it was great for this. And then just blend that all together. And it looks like that. After I've finished pouring that in, I then chop it with some pineapple, which I've still got some left in the fridge and I really want to go get um okay i'm putting in some banana now i really want pineapple this morning i made lewis come to tesco with me we went to two different tescos to get the easter eggs that are currently in stock um they were like 12 pounds but i really needed it and that's just pregnancy cravings for you it's the ones that they're currently selling um that i've got like so i got the kit kat one where what am i putting in pumpkin seeds where they've got like there's some of the easter eggs now have got the actual chocolate like in the easter egg it's not just plain chocolate and i saw it on tiktok and i needed it um definitely not as healthy as this bowl i've just finished putting in some hemp seeds and now i'm putting on some chia seeds there she goes and then i believe i put in some peanut butter as well i didn't think i was going to put it in but it just looks good and i feel like everybody's smoothie bowl always has some sort of nut butter on top so we went with it today All right, this is what I'm gonna eat now. Oh, hello. Okay, and this is where my problem is. I've just done like, it's not even a lot that I've just done then, but after like being like, go, 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 for like a couple of hours, I just get really tired. And I think that's just part of my pregnancy that I have to eat a lot more food lately. Like I'm always hungry and I'm just always tired. Like, I need to, like, lie down all the time if I'm doing stuff. Um, it was worse in my first trimester. I used to sleep, like, 14 hours a day. Um, but she's kicking all the time, and I think she just sucks a lot out of me. Um, I need to go to the doctors, really, because there is, like, it runs in our family, iron deficiency, and that causes a lot of fatigue. So <laughs> me just talking now has made me realise that. So that might be something that I try and do today, maybe book a doctor's appointment. So yeah, I'm just gonna like lie here now and just go on my phone for a bit because I actually like feel it in my back, like the fatigue. So I'm just gonna lie here for a little bit now. <laughs> okay, I've just been on the sofa for longer than I wish I had, probably like over an hour. So I'm gonna actually get ready. Like, even get out of breath is going up the stairs. I'm so unfit now. So I'm gonna do my skincare and I'm going to have a shower and do a hair mask and moisturize and just feel good. And I'm gonna go for a walk and get some fresh air before Lewis comes home. Let's move my serum out of the way. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And put on some nice clothes and just make myself feel better by doing that, I think. I've just realized as well that I haven't actually shown you like what my bump is. So what am I like, five months now, four and a bit? First baby, and she is in there. Whenever I eat anything, she gets like, she responds a lot. And she's kicked Lewis a good few times and he can feel her now and it's like, yeah. So I'm gonna help her out now.
I thought I would just mention here as well that I ended up swapping gua sha's. I'd never used that pink one before. I got it in an advent calendar that I'd got and it just wasn't as good as the green one that I use. I got this one off Amazon and when I was doing my forehead, it just felt so good in between my brow bone and my third eye. Just felt like everything was opening up. <laughs> I feel a bit more like a person now and not just some zombie out of bed. But I did my hair, did my makeup, put in some stretchy, this top's gone quite see through. <laughs> um, put on some stretchy jogger bottoms because nothing else fits me anymore. I can't wear jeans. I refuse to wear jeans, as a matter of fact, they're just way too uncomfortable. Um, I'm going to do like a little bit of yoga now. I'm like, I'm trying to get back into it just because when I used to do it all the time, I really saw like the benefits in my lifestyle and my body and just how I felt and how I viewed the world. Um, my first trimester, gone, didn't do any of it. Um, so I'm gonna go do like 10 minutes now just to try and get back into the routine and make it a habit. And then I'm gonna go for a walk before Lewis gets home and we're gonna have some lunch together. So that's the plan. It makes me laugh watching this back as well because you can see that my clothes just are not fitting anymore and she just wants to come out and say hello all the time. When I get down to this pose, I could feel her kicking like so much and it made me laugh. But yeah, it's just, just a part of life and I really enjoy seeing what she responds to. out for my walk and I've found this bench like in the middle of a field um, so I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and just breathe in like the fresh air and not really get a vitamin D because it's not very sunny at all but just appreciate being outside and listen to the birds and this is what Lewis and I had for lunch for the life of me I don't know why this clip won't flip but I roasted some butternut squash I had some quinoa and some high protein veggie bread that I'd made. I also put a uh, kale, tomato and broccoli salad with it. There's Lewis looking very impressed. <laughs> and we proceeded to eat Chinese takeaway and watch Netflix for the rest of the evening until I fell asleep on the sofa like I normally do. I'll put in a clip next of our takeaway which also doesn't seem to want to flip around. Maybe it's just <laughs> food for me. Um, and then I didn't really film anything else because I'd fallen asleep. So I hope you like this video and I will try and make another one in the future. Thank you for watching.